And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Interleague. Just about ready to go. And towing the slab here, Pedro Martinez. Chris, he is a fun one to watch do his thing out there. Well, he comes in carrying a career ERA under three. He's been fantastic ever since he broke into the big leagues. Can't wait to watch him pitch today. Right through there, got him. Now one away. Well, that's not the best two-strike fastball I've seen, but certainly got away with the location there. You know, sometimes as a hitter, when you're down in the count, you're so focused on a pitcher painting the black, and you just get a little bit locked up on something down the heart of the plate, not expecting it, and it just kind of freezes you. Bounce to the right side. There's Hernandez handling the chance. Gathers and throws to first. Two up, two down. Batting third. The left fielder, number 33. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. No score just getting started, top of the first. And he's down 0 2 as he swings through it. Here's the 0 2. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Third out, and that ends the frame. Now batting Jaron Duran. Comes in working with the sixth best average in the AL. For the Red Sox. And the pitch. Up the middle. Jared. India gloves it. Over to first. One gone bottom half of the first. Here's Mookie Adam now. Second. There's a the sense right of field. anticipation in the Mookie. ballpark as everyone waits to yeah. see if he can inch closer to the consecutive game hitting streak. pitch up the middle farmer handles on the run throw to first and Betts is gone so stepping in for Boston David Ortiz that one is absolutely belted pulls it in on the warning track Top of the second. In now for the Reds. Joey Votto. Leading off for Cincinnati. The Swing and a miss. And it's 0-1. Joey the pitch. Votto. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Tyler Naquin to the plate. Been a pretty rough start to this series for him at the plate. Three strikeouts in the first game yesterday. Another one right there. They've clearly got a great plan for how to deal with this guy right now. Left-hand hitter waits. And a foul ball. He stays alive. The 2 Got him looking. That's the second out. Well, he's really dialed in, and this offense is going to have to do something to try to break that That's rhythm. It. Maybe it's square around the bunt, step out of the box, Mike. agitate him a little bit, do something that just changes what's happening right now because at this pace, it's going to be a long game, so you got to figure it out quickly. And one and two. Just not able to catch up to that velocity. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. Here is J.D. Martinez, second in the American League in home runs. Leading off for the Red Sox. Wind of the pitch. The left fielder, J.D. And first offering is fouled off. Martinez. And a pitch. Bounce to the left side. Moose collects it. And Martinez is out. And here comes Sander Bogarts. Second in the American League in hitting. Bogart. Bounced out to short, and it finds its way through for a hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so... I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Right-hander kicks deals. On the ground, two ball. 
Off balance beat. There's one. Over to first. Safe. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. He's settling in. You've got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. Here's Christian Vasquez. Comes in fifth in the American League in batting average. And the 1 0. This to third, bounces, and it's over his head. They stopped the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. Fernando Tatis Jr. to hit here. Fernando Tatis Jr. Hard hit, left field, base hit. Devers headed home. One run scores. Here comes another. Now the throw comes in. Runner holds it third. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Ripped that one down the line and kept it fair. And even when you hit it that far out front, you still have to keep your hands tight to your body so you don't hook around that baseball and put it in foul territory. And that right there was perfect. Roll over to Votto. And that is the inning. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. Martinez back to work. And it's fouled away. A Eugenio Suarez. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And there's one away. Well, right now, he's in cruise control, autopilot, just dominating these hitters. It doesn't look like it's a fun at bat. And all of a sudden, you become in awe of this guy on the mound. Somebody's got to break this thing up. That's five straight strikeouts. Got to put a ball in play. Comes up empty on the swing. 0-2 now. And the pitch. And a pop-up. Right side, foul territory. Betts is on the move. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Picks up strikeout number seven. Cal Farmer up to the plate Not now. Enough. Quite the start to this Good game on the mound. Looking Tie very on. dangerous to these hitters. Seven punch outs already, so this lineup hasn't had much success trying to figure him out. I'm impressed with what we're seeing here. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. That ends the frame. Reds go to. Back here at the ballpark as we go to the last of the third. Here's the center fielder, Jaron Duran. The center fielder, Jaron Duran. Roll over to Votto. One up, one down. Here's Mookie to hit. The right fielder, Mookie. Yes. Line drive. And there's two down. David Ortiz now at the plate. Liner, and that should be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. And he's in there standing up with a two-out double. Nice double right there. Loud contact coming off the bat. Didn't get enough air under to drive it out of here, but you'll take that swing and that result every time. And Martinez. Very used to hitting in spots like this. Right now second in the AL in RBIs. And that one gets down. Fair ball. The run comes in from second. It's 2-0. And he's got a double. Back-to-back -back base hits. He got a pitch he could get to out front. Kept his bat through the ball and didn't pull off or roll his hands over. And that allowed him to rip that ball down the line for the double. Mustakis handles the chance. On to first. Bogarts retired. That ends the inning. Red Sox with an RBI double. Back here at Fenway, new inning getting started. Now here's the Reds' leadoff man, Jonathan India. That's in. Jonathan India. And a pitch. There's a strike. And a swing and a miss. And there's one down. 
Oh, there's a three pitch strikeout. He can do whatever he wants with the baseball right now. Up next in Cincinnati. Serta now at the plate as he swings through strike one. The Reds hitless so far in the game. Swag at a slow roller. Hernandez picks it up. Throw to first is in time. And a couple of quick outs. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Winker now in the box. Comes up empty with a swing there. And he's down 0 2 as he swings through it. And a foul ball. Got him. That's the third out. And one, two, three. And welcome back. Bottom four. Here now the Red Sox DH. Rafael Devers. For the Red Sox. Yeah, the right hander back to work. Rafael. Hard ground ball Devers. base now. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a now firm front it. side. Catcher. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. And now it's Christian Vasquez. Out towards right center field. A little bloop single. Throw comes in. Runner stop. Second and third. Nobody out. Now it's Fernando Tatis Jr. Now batting. The third baseman. Fernando Tatis Jr. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. One run is in. The throw in. Safe at the plate, and it's 4 nothing. Gets the job done as he brings home a pair. He wasn't able to elevate it, but he put a great no swing on ball. it. Right on time, Second good base, balanced approach, and just blasted it through the infield. Hernandez swings through that one as he comes to the plate for the second time today. That's hard hit on the line. He dives, but he can't make the catch. The relay to second, not in time. He's safe. And stepping in for Boston, Jaron Duran. He's a guy who does it all. The center fielder. Jaren. Jaren. Swings through that one. 0 oh 1. What about the fans at Fenway? Would they let you have it from time to time? They're definitely intelligent baseball fans, which is awesome. They're not waiting for something to happen. They can smell a big inning or anticipate a situation setting itself up. Now it's Mookie Betts. Year in and year out, this guy an MVP candidate. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. One thing I found that was very cool was making a great play to end the inning and running off the field and getting a standing ovation even at times when you're not a player on their team. As long as you're not winning. Here's the throw to the plate. It's offline and he scores. It's 5 nothing. Yo, that's the third run of the inning. These guys are doing a nice job of executing at the plate right now. Here comes the manager out of the dugout, and he'll make a move for the bullpen. Tony Santion gets the call from the pen. A runner on second to deal with. He'll do his best to keep him there. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and he get a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Very risky right there to try to steal third with two outs and a left-hander at the plate. And there's an open lane for that catcher to throw down. But he gambled. Now he's at third, 90 feet closer. Perhaps a ball in the dirt that gets away from the catcher, and they pick up a run. He's in there. Boom, that's staying within his game right there. I mean, this speedster gets the infield single, and now he's on base to possibly do some damage. I love seeing what guys like this can do to disrupt the game once they get in a position to do so. So two down, J.D. Martinez stands in. The batter, the left fielder, J.D. Martinez. Swing and a ball hammered, left field. Banks off the wall. 
Farmer with a relay throw in there. He scores. And they're pulling away up by seven now. A little more backspin on that instead of the top spin. He's jogging around the bases rather than pulling up at second. It's Xander Bogarts now. Here's the pitch. Runner on the move. That's in for a strike. Out at third. Welcome back. Ready now for the fifth inning. Now the Reds cleanup hitter, Joey Votto. That's in for a strike. Joey Votto. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Righty delivers. Stays alive. Next offering is downstairs. Well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. May Quinn, the batter now, as he swings and misses for strike one. Left-hand batter waits. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. And the righty deals. And down on strikes. That's out number two. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. The Reds yet to pick up a hit here. Well, this offense has just been locked down. Almost five full innings of shutout baseball. Here's a high chopper. Tosses to first, and that is that. Reds down. And we're back here at Fenway Park. Now here's Sander Bogarts now. Leading off for the And here it comes. Not shortstop. Xander. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. That's back there. Gives up the body and makes the catch. What a gutsy play. I always found it was now difficult because of such a wide warning track here at Fenway Park. To get back there, sometimes you don't know where you are. But with reckless abandon, he goes up and challenges the monster and comes down with an incredible catch. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. Now really nice job staying up the, the middle catcher. with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just that shot it through can. the infield. Christian Vasquez, the hitter. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Lead runner holds at third. So two runners in scoring position and just one out. And the batter will be Fernando Tatis Jr. This guy has turned into a beast. Ground ball, left side. Slides, but it gets by him. The throw into second. He pulls into second as two runs score in the play. Just one of those seen high base hits through the now, infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. New pitcher now, Art Warren. He'll try to strand the runner at second. Runner takes off for third. Pitch outside, and that's a stolen base, not even close. Wow, these guys are merciless. I'd say a questionable decision to steal third right there with a big lead. Probably won't be received well in the other dugout. Oh, now this is blasted. Way back there, on its way, gone. High velocity up and in is just such a difficult location for the hitter, but now this time batting. he pulls the Better hands fielder. tight to the body, Jared. gets through this pitch. What conviction Jared. in that swing. Swing, and this one's blasted. It's got a chance. Ah! A solo shot is 21st of the year, and they add on. It's 12-0. And now, now it's batting. Mookie Betts. Right Mookie. Yeah. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at all. You'll one. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Wow, no fair right there. I mean, that slider didn't move to the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just kind of have to tip your cap on that pit. Can't glove it cleanly. 
He doesn't have a play, and the defense comes away with nothing. Run around at first with one gone. And next for the Red Sox, David Ortiz. Swing and a ball popped up. Drops into the glove. Two down. Man at first. Now, now JD Martinez at the plate Jamie. for the fourth time tonight. Martinez. Foul ball there. Out to short. Safe at second, and he'll be safe at first. So after the error, it's runners at first and second. And here is Xander Bogart. Double steal. Pitch misses. Throw to third. Save. Double steal. I think he surprised everyone in the ballpark, and especially the pitcher. It wasn't a great lead there, but when he took off, I think he caught him off guard. Nice job to get to third. At the belt and fire. Now a screamer into the outfield. Serta makes the catch, and that'll do it. But the long ball was worth Back here in Boston. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. Now it's the DH, Eugenio Suarez. Next offering is fouled back. The 0-2. Swings and misses. So he's gotten deep into this game and at least so far not showing a ton of signs of fatigue Stevenson now at the plate as he swings through strike one it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today good fastball excellent slider but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there swing and a miss and he got him that's his second strikeout a big performance on the mound. Lots of strikeouts. That was number 14. Yeah, clearly trusting his stuff in this one, Boo. Feeling really good about what he's working with, and that really allows a guy to attack hitters. You know, such an important mindset to have out there on the mound, especially when you're ahead in the count with two strikes. Got him! And how about that? It's an immaculate... Back now at Fenway. John Chambi with Chris Singleton in the booth, and leading off the bottom of the sixth, Rafael Devers. The designated hitter. The pitch. Dever. He can't get there. It's a base hit. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. Now the tag at second, and he's out. Trying for two. Got a lot of hustle and Dever. the attitude there to try to stretch that single into a double, but unfortunately Dever. thrown out at second base. He was so close to being in scoring position. So here's Christian Vasquez. Ground ball up the middle, and there's a hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Just kept it Up simple. Played the Pepper side. with the middle of the infield. The and took it back where it Good came from. Down. And there's just no one there to knock it down. So a man aboard, one down. And it's Tatis at the plate. Swing and a ball popped up. And it drops in. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Here's Kike Hernandez. Second baseman, Kike Hernandez. Here's the pitch. It's a double steal. Strike in there. Oh, the throw is wild. Two on, one out. Into center. Serta puts the squeeze on that one. Runners tagging from second and third. And he's safe at third as a run scores. Amir Garrett on the pitch out of the pen here. Big now, deficit here, but he's still got a job to do. So stepping in for Boston, Jaron Duran. Come back to the mound. Base hit and a run into score. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the now cage, you're just hoping right you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Yeah. Right on top of it. Mustakis handles the chance. They get the force. 
And that is the inning. We're through six. Back in Boston, top of inning number seven, Jonathan India at the plate. The second baseman, Jonathan. And first offering is fouled off. And down on strikes he goes. That's the first out at the top of the seventh. And now the center fielder, Alan Serta. Well, tough night at the dish. Punching out for the third time right there. He just hasn't looked very comfortable with the plate. A little unsure of his timing right now. Not picking up the spin and location of these pitches. We'll have some adjustments to make. Two away. You know, he's been so great today. Really just throwing whatever the catcher puts down. I mean, hasn't shaken off the catcher very much at all today. And first offering is fouled off. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Reds go down quite. Back inside Fenway Park, bottom of the seventh, and now the first baseman, David Ortiz. Garrett back to work. That one lifted to left. No trouble here, puts it away for the out, and there's one down. Now J.D. Martinez stands in. The contact guy, good defender. Out of line, out towards center. Serta makes the catch. Two down. Man, that's one of those at-bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. No he did everything no right, right there. Nothing no to show no. for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at-bat. And that's just foul. Bogart's who wears that number two on his back for his idol, Derek Jeter. In the air to left, down the line. And that is a foul ball. Oh and two now. Swing and a ball lifted left field. And that is that. Red Sox go down. Back here at Fenway, we're at the top of the eight, and the batter now is Joey Votto. Swing and a bouncer. To first, and Votto is retired. Still rolling to start the eighth, just five more outs to get. Naquin at the plate for the third time as he comes up empty there. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. And he deals. And miss struck him out. Two up, two down here at the top of the eighth. Got him out on the front foot. Couldn't keep the hands back long enough and played right into the hands of the pitcher. The Reds still looking for their first hit in this one. Next offering is foul back. Wow, he got away with a mistake right there. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. That's out number On to the bottom of the eighth. Here's some real power at the plate. Rafael Devers. For the, Red Sox. the pitch. The designated hitter. Hit hard the on the player. ground is short. Devers. Throw over to Votto. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. Now batter. The catcher. Christian. And stepping in okay. is the speedy Christian Vasquez. This guy's turned into one of the best catchers in the National League. Out to center. Serta drifts towards it. Makes the grab. Two down. Now the third baseman, now Fernando Tatis Jr. Baseman. And that chance handled. Sends it to first. And they take care of Tatis for the... We go to the ninth. Now it's the Reds' DH. A. Eugenio Suarez. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Boog, I'll tell you right now, every player defensively on their toes like never before. Comes up empty on the swing. 0-2 now. The punch out there. And one out now. And he'll be beating himself up on the way back to the dugout. Got a pitch to hit and just couldn't get to it. I think that slider... 
really caught way more of the plate than it was supposed to. They want to make sure they have the opportunity to put this pitcher in the history books. They're going to make the play. Kicks and deals. Excellent arm action on that two strike changeup. Just missed. Man, he wanted that call. Clearly trying to stay back a little bit longer for that changeup as he fouls that fastball back. And a swing and a miss. And they're down to their last down. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. Farmer in the box again. Takes a strike. Owen oh, Tuzzi waves at that one. And he rings him up. Call strike three. It's a perfect game. Just unbelievable. I was nervous up here in the booth. I can only imagine what his teammates and even he felt out there on the mound closing this thing out. Everyone will remember this perfect game, and it'll be notched in Cooperstown forever.